Daredevil Born Again. Coming to Disney Plus, got a lot more enthusiasm and life injected into it as Disney, of course, we've talked a lot about over the last month or so, decided to change course and actually make this Daredevil the same Daredevil as the one from Netflix. And this will kind of now be a continuation of that Netflix series, which was not their plan originally, but that's what they're doing now. And so we've heard ever since then, they're now bringing over the bullseye actor. They're bringing back Karen and Foggy. Uh, a couple of other castings have been announced already as well. People getting kind of hyped about it. But one of the things that we have not seen, because we've seen a bunch of behind the scenes pictures coming out. You know, the other day we talked about the first picture that came out of Foggy, Karen, and Matt together for the first time. That was kind of cool seeing their law firm name in there. We've seen some pictures of Kingpin and, and Matt talk and stuff like that. But one of the things we have not seen is a picture of the new outfit, which is interesting because before they scrapped the show, the Daredevil Born Again show that they had been working on then scrapped everything, reports are coming out that we weren't even going to see Matt in the Daredevil costume for like the first five episodes or something like that. It's like the show is called Daredevil, right? <laughs> um, at any rate, but now we've gotten our first look at the new costume. This comes to us from the director at the following. The new costume Charlie Cox will wear for his portrayal of Daredevil in Marvel Studios' Daredevil Born Again has been spotted on set during filming in the streets of New York City. The top and pants are almost entirely red with not too much black lining, and it appears to be a slightly more saturated color than what was seen in Cox's suit from his cameo appearance in 2024's Echo. And if you take me down out of this uh, out of this shot, mm -hmm. you can get a better look at the thing here. That is, I mean, I think that they're right. This is a more saturated color of the suit than what we have seen before previously. And I think we've got a side-by-side -side shot yeah. of what the original Netflix series suit looked like. We see that on the left with the back of the new suit. And you can already see a number of the differences, right? The, the deeper saturation, the black piping is different. The helmet's got some details that are different, especially if you look around the, the bottom of the neck. You see in the new shot on the right, there's a big black plate kind of i'm sure there's a leather going across mm -hmm. the piping is shaped differently there's a little bit more texture to the costume itself now <laughs> where this really stands in start start contradiction is the more recent new look at daredevil we had which was of course from she hulk because you know one of the big storylines in she hulk was that matt was there to get his new costume why he went out to la to get a new costume I'm not sure. Now, a lot of people got very excited by the outfit because that's directly like from the comic pages, that particular outfit. And a lot of people kind of dug the outfit and stuff like that. By the way, Matt in She-Hulk, I still contend is one of the few redeemable things about that show. And as much as I hated the show, I will still say I thought I thought the chemistry between Matt and Jen was adorable. And I still say that the walk of shame thing at the end is one of the best things I've seen on TV. Even though the show was terrible, uh, there were a few redeeming things about it. And usually Matt was kind of at the, the core of it. Now, look, at the end of the day, how the costume looks has absolutely, let me pull up my math here. Yes, zero. The look of the suit has absolutely zero impact on how good the show is, right? It, it just simply does. I mean, I would prefer to have a better looking suit than a not better looking suit, but it really will have no impact on how good the story is, how good the action is, how good the show works. I always go back to the one CW show, Black Lightning. That is the worst comic book superhero costume ever in the history of comic book movie or TV stuff ever in history. That was the dumbest, stupidest looking costume, but the show was great. It was a really fun show, and I enjoyed it a lot, despite the fact that the show, the costume was absolutely <laughs> trash. But I, I kind of dig, and I'm glad they went back to the red instead of the yellow, because even though I thought the yellow suit looked kind of cool, for a guy that's supposed to be creeping around in the night, it's an awfully loud outfit. It, it doesn't matter what color, John. Can you go back to that picture? Right yeah, here? we got Look, it. He, he looks like he put, put on a little weight right there, huh? These reshoots, he was relaxing. There's a little... You think so? Yeah, man. He looks like a doe devil. <laughs> doe, doe devil? <laughs> doe devil eat again. Doe devil eat again. <laughs> look at her. Look her. Look her. Look her. No, 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 no. I, I'm not one to say. I'm not one to say because look at me, but I mean, I got to call it out. Like there's no <laughs> judgment, but he sees what he sees. What, what happened was, what happened was they finished filming, right? 
and Charlie Cox probably was relaxing. He doesn't have to be. <laughs> he doesn't have to be in shape anymore. Yeah. Oh, and then they're on. like, "No, we got to reshoot this." He's like, "I'm not ready." And there's a little bit of right. He got a little bit of beer belly right there. <laughs> oh. Especially in the shot I'm looking at from the yeah right here. See. see oh, shot from no, yeah. I think he that? looks in good shape. Toe devil. Eating. Well, from from the Netflix one. The, well, the I mean, suit is more it, loose as well. It looked it looked to me like he's bulked up. The suit is more there. loose. <laughs> I mean, it's not like Grand Admiral <laughs> Pi, right? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> like when Grand Admiral Thrawn showed up in Ahsoka, it's like Grand Admiral Pi. I don't I don't Blueberry recall. Pie. We're we're creating a Mount Rushmore. I, I don't recall Grand Admiral Thrawn being so squishy. Oh, why is he so blue? He eats <laughs> a lot of blueberry pie. <laughs> he needs a place where to, to fold his arms to rest <laughs> on top. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that's better. I finally achieved it. An arm wrestling place. Uh, I, don't, gonna, I don't see it on Charlie have to, Cox, you though. Have to rip it off. It's on there so long. <laughs> you know, we have no reason to talk, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it. He, oh he, he does put a little... He put, Put a little bit of weight there, but that could have just been. I think he put muscle on. Yeah. yeah. You know where he can really, Do you still have that back, back, side by side shot there? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think there, that will give us a good look because I think, because you can't hide it. You can't hide it from the, so, from so the back. So in that shot, it, we were looking at the original. Yeah, I don't think the, he's, I think he's bulked up. I don't think yeah, he's put on Yeah, you know weight. what? You know what? But also, you know. also, that I think that's a stuntman that you were seeing in that one shot. Oh, yeah, this one right here? Yeah. yeah okay. But yeah, <laughs> yeah but because that didn't look like his face, it looked like a stunt man. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Doe devil. <laughs> Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video. Mint Mobile. On average, it takes about 30 days for a person to break their New Year's resolution. So if saving money was on your 2024 list, your odds aren't looking that great. Luckily, I have a 100% guaranteed way to save you money this year. Just switch to Mint Mobile. For a limited time, wireless plans from Mint Mobile are $15 a month when you purchase a three-month plan. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for 15 bucks a month. I've told you guys many times that after switching to Mint Mobile, I am spending less than a third on my cell bill than I used to with a major carrier. Say goodbye to your overpriced wireless plans, jaw-dropping monthly bills, and unexpected overages. All Mint plans come with unlimited talk and text, plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. And don't worry about having to change phones or numbers. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. So guys, to get this new customer offer and your new three-month unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, go to mintmobile.com slash cam. Campia. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bills to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. See Mint Mobile for details. Anyway, I like the look of the outfit. Again, it doesn't <clears throat> speak at all to whether or not the show is going to be good. Right. But I, I think that I, I like that they went back to the red. I like the look of it. I like the 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 more the richer red in it too. So we'll see how that all kind of works out. Anyway, question is for you guys. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think about the look of the new costume? Jump on down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.